The system has two inverters. The inverter to the east runs the upper roof. The inverter to the west runs the lower roof. And let's look at the output from each string. This, the upper roof has three strings. And the lower roof has two. 144 watts. Let's go over to the voltage input from the strings. There we go. String A is putting out zero volts. B, 176 volts, 171, whatever that said. And C, 260 volts. So something's up with string A. Now over to the other inverter. The lower roof has just two strings, and they're going to be fine. We're in the 200s range for each of both of them. And zero on string C, which makes sense because there is no string C on this one. Now, the evidence of a problem, the first bit, besides the fact that we have a zero output on the string A of the upper roof, is this red light on, on the rapid shutdown. Normal, under normal operation, both lights are off. And if I push the rapid shutdown, I don't think it'll. I don't think it ever shows safe. Let's try it. Normally the red light would flash a few times and then we would see safe. But we're not. I'm going to grab the key to power it back on and we will still get the red light. Okay, that's enough, I'm gonna go up on the roof. Okay, we have uh, moved a solar panel out of the way so we can get to the rapid shutdown. What I'm gonna do is lift this panel up out of the way, Connor's gonna slip in there and we're gonna get the serial number off the rapid shutdown. Then we can run some voltage tests off the rapid shutdown to show that it is not working and what we've gotta to do to make it work. All right. So it's, uh, Three zero zero, wait, three and three zeros, so three thousand one hundred, wait, three thousand one seven six seven six zero. Three thousand, so three zero 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 one seven six seven six zero. Yes. Date of manufacturer, March of 17. I bought this in December of 17. Now what we need to show is that we're getting no power out of the, so the box. So the power comes in here, into these two spots here from the panels. And out this side, So, let's show that there's no voltage to that point, which would tell us that either there's a bad connection from the shutdown to the box, or the shutdown itself. We should get this. We're showing zero volts, we're on a thousand volt setting. This run is, what, 11 panels, so we should get 350 volts or so. One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, 11 panels. So it's dead. 0.02, some little pitiful amount. Let's see, I have another voltmeter that maybe we can keep always connected for this part of the test. So I'm clipping it, put a video up into here, I'm clipping it onto, onto that little Wire. block piece. So notice here, the needle's over there at zero. We made the panels have some issue, so we want to make sure that the panels have voltage. So I'm going to disconnect these, check the voltage out of the panels, and we'll see, at least last time I did this, we saw that we got the proper voltage. And interestingly, as soon as I plugged it all back in, 
the rapid shutdown kicked in and we were generating power down to the inverters. So let's go through that process. Video down here, Connor. And so I'm going to disconnect this one. Disconnect this one. So now I've, these are the leads from the panels. We need to show this, Connor, as well as me connecting here. Three hundred eighty-four volts. Wow. That's and that's on eleven panels at about thirty-five volts a panel. That's right on the money. Three hundred eighty-four volts. Okay. Back here, we're still showing zero, which we'd expect to, because everything's unplugged. Come back over here, Connor. I'm going to plug these in. Um, and then let's see how long it takes before we see voltage on that voltmeter over there. You know what I'm going to do, just because it's going to give more voltage than this one says, I'm going to change over to this voltmeter now. Alright, so we're showing right around pretty well zero volts. Zero. I've got one side plugged in now. And here comes the other side. Alright, let's shine over here and let's listen. We might hear the rapid shutdown clicking. Yeah, we're not getting anything in the way. There we go. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. And now suddenly pop. Here we are at 360 volts. 300 and it's falling, but... same thing I did about a week ago when I had the same problem and uh, last time maybe a few days ago I didn't go through the whole testing process but I just came up here and unplugged and then plugged back in and got power so something's happening funny something funny is happening inside of this rapid shutdown box it seems to me all right back to the upper inverter the upper inverter I'll show the voltages now We're showing 300 volts, 320, as that say? Coming in through D line A, whereas before we had zero. And line C is all good as well. And the rapid shutdown box, or the rapid shutdown controller. The lights are off. Connor, push the button. I'll push it hard. There we go. So we got the normal flashing. And safe. Turn it back on. The inverters are back up and running. That's all.